Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. We're going to go through our floodlight camera app, um, how to best utilize it, how to get it all set up, and how to share your floodlight camera with a significant other, or a housemate, or a friend, or a neighbor. Um, so first thing you want to go ahead and do is um, open the floodlight camera app. So it's located um, on the third row here. It's just the light bulb with the house inside of it. So we're going to click on it. It's going to boot up. Um, now from this screen here you can actually add other users in by um, opening the sharing icon so what you want to do is you want to click the four little squares in the bottom right hand corner just underneath the picture here and then click on the share icon and it brings up the QR code now you want to do this after you've got the camera all installed and working on one of your phones um, this will then allow you to go through the entire setup procedure providing the uh, your partner's phone or your housemate's phone is connected to your Wi-Fi network uh, one of the final steps is scanning the QR code so this will allow you to get access to the QR code without having to go up and pull the camera off the wall or do anything crazy so benefit there um, what I'm going to now go ahead and do is click on the actual live feed itself and um, you see the postman just disappeared from here you've got a number of different settings that you can change so we're just going to go ahead and click on the gear in the top right hand corner um, now within here we can change the under the device info we can change the name of the unit if we wanted to so we can change it from front door to the house's name um, maybe you've got a large ranch like Skywalker Ranch so you could change it to that um, if we go back under light settings you've got a number of different settings so we'll go through those uh, briefly the, the ones that are of importance so video flip is the first one um, that allows you to flip the video or manipulate it if the camera was installed in such a way that uh, you weren't able to get a, a right side up image so this will allow you to alter that um, it will also allow you to display the date and time and also display the camera name if you wanted to so we've got display time on um, but the name, name of the camera hidden so it makes it nice and easy for you you've also then got record setting ours is set to alert so every time the unit is triggered it will record for a period of one minute um, it's the most efficient way of using the memory card and that's how we would suggest uh, setting it up um, your motion detection setting so if we go to motion detection setting you can have a number of different alerts set and sensitivity set if you go to motion zones you can also trim down the zones that the camera is active in and you can stretch them out so I could change it to just the footpath if I wanted to or I could change it to just the front door area or I could have the entire area set as a zone it's completely up to you um, you can also then have um, the notifications set, so either a bell or your phone vibrate, and turn those notifications off. Under security, you've got a few more settings. Um, so detection zone setting is for the lights. And you can customize that any number of ways as well. So if I wanted to, I could turn off the middle section and just have the left and right areas going, or any combination of that. Um, and I can also have the sensitivity of those zones adjusted between low to high. So pretty cool, handy feature. Under alarm setting, you've got how long the, the lights would be triggered for, and you can also get the unit to greet you. So if you wanted to, you could click on motion alert, and if I click on where it says mute, um, I've then got a number of different options from barking dog to um, sorry I'm not interested. So a ton of different options in there if you wanted the unit to greet um, anyone coming to the area or to the door um, before you got the notification. So quite handy little thing to do there. Um, you've also got setup time alarm. So if you wanted to have the unit active for a specific time period rather than active all the time, you could do that. Uh, we would always suggest having it full-time alarm mode um, as that gives you the best opportunity to capture anything. Um, if your record setting is set to alert, again, it's only going to record when it detects motion and it's only going to do that for a minute at a time. So still the most effective way of doing it would be to leave it on record alert setting and full-time alarm mode. Uh, if we go back to the main page, so this is the main page here. I can turn sound on or off by click, uh, simply pressing the little speaker. So I press on the little speaker, you'll hear the sound coming through from outside, road noises and all the rest of it. Um, you've also then got the auto light option in the middle of the page. Um, you can go widescreen obviously on the far right. And if I swipe over to the right, you've got your speak button in the middle. Now if I wanted to, I could press that button um, and a little timer is going to come up on the main screen there and I can talk for as long as I want so that's me talking now you can see it ticking over two three four and then as soon as I release that I would then hear the reply of the person so acts a lot like a walkie-talkie um, and it's very 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 handy feature if someone's gonna be at your door or you're getting packages dropped off or anything like that 
Um, the other big thing I want to show you here is the storage. So if we click on storage just below where it says speak and those two little dots are, um, and we click on SD, I can then bring up any of the footage from today on the main page. And I can hit search and I can hit uh, within a week. And then all the way back from the 11th to today is all there. So any, any entry we've got from the guys coming in first thing in the morning. So if we go to one of the early morning ones, say 7.53, We'll see one of the guys coming in um, all the way through to customers and, and if there was anything after sort of 5 p.m. then that would be you know possibly an intruder or something like that so yeah 519 527 so you know, guys just leaving late for work and all the rest of it but that's the best way you utilize the floodlight cam that's the best way to utilize the app as always if you do have any questions please don't hesitate to contact our customer support team uh, their email address is customer support at the spystore.com.au or you can give us a call between 9am and 5pm uh, Monday to Friday WA time on our phone line. Uh, that number is 08 Thanks for joining me guys and hopefully you got something from it. Have a great day.